days a day A bad luck's always a coming my way Today's adventure kind of puts us in the middle of nowhere. In all actuality, we're just outside of Prescott, Arizona, down this road at the very end of Granite Basin Lake is the lake where they filmed the segment, The Raft for Creepshow Part Two. We're starting the video here because in the episode of The Raft, they're driving down there. The first opening scenes are the group of friends driving down to go swimming. This is the road. Driving back here, immediately we notice a sign here that says Granite Basin Recreation Area, the Prescott National Forest. And everything we read online, we just gotta keep taking this road all the way until it ends. What are you doing over here, Jessica? Fluffies. Fluffies. Are those the those aren't dandelions. What are those? I don't remember what these are called. They look like corn cobs. Little fluffy corn cobs. They're really, really dense. So you can see I'm just taking a tiny little piece, throwing it off, and that's like four dandelions. And I'm really playing with fire because the ones I am wearing is not forgiving when things stick to it. So if they touch me, it is certain death. You take just even a little piece and pull it off. It's like magic. See how big that got? It just falls apart. It does. And it's so soft. Oh no! <laughs> Look at you. I know, it's worth it though. A lot has changed since they were here filming the raft segment for Creepshow 2, but as they came down the mountain, they would have come out right about here. You can't see it, but there's a road. They would have driven right in this area very wildly and skid across the sand. And they would have parked. Let me try to line up the shot. There we go. They would have parked the car right over here in this area. And you can match up the shot using that rock formation, that rock formation, and this little patch of land. Stripping off their clothes, they run right down this embankment into the water and start swimming out into the raft, which would have been right over in this area right here. Let's go! Jesus! Easy, Cisco! And that water's 45 degrees, 50 top. The camera gives us something close to this angle and we can match up the shot by the background there. But the two guys are in the water talking about how it's too darn cold to get laid. Because you hope to get laid out here. Too damn cold to get laid. Walls are gonna turn into ice cubes. <laughs> Let's go, Pancho. Vamanos. Let's win. Oh, sis, go, Pancho. At one point, the camera looks out onto the lake you can see the raft right over in this area that they need to swim to. God, it's beautiful. So quiet. 
diet. As they enter the water and start swimming across the lake, one of the guys hears a duck off in the distance making a sound like something is wrong. And he looks over in this direction and he sees the duck being swallowed by something like an oil slick and being sucked under the water. So he swims a little faster. Again, the raft would have been over there. Pretty much the entire movie takes place on that raft in this lake where one by one each one of them dies except for one person. There has to be one survivor, right? That one survivor realizes that his only chance of survival is to jump in the water and swim across the lake and try to defeat whatever it is that has been eating his friends. And he makes it over here to right about where I am sitting this far away from the shore and he turns and he looks at it and he says, ha ha, I won, I beat you, I beat you. Well, it comes out of the water, it grabs him and it sucks him back into the lake. I beat you, what if you, I beat you. We walked around this lake trying to find a no swimming sign. Have not been able to find one, but they do have a no parking sign. So there's that. It's funny, the lake is frozen. And Jessica has resorted to picking up pieces of ice and throwing it across the lake. Jessica! It makes really pretty sounds. Be careful! I will. Because if some sort of weird oil slick thing comes near you, Garbage bag. run. Okay, ready? Throw it. Yeah, that does sound really cool. All right, throw another piece. Yeah, that just sounds cool. That's awesome. I've only ever seen things like this on television, like from the Discovery Channel, you know? I never thought I'd actually get to do it because where I'm from, lakes don't freeze. I mean, they do like from where I'm born, but not Florida. Ready? Yep. That's awesome. I can't get it to go very far, but if you get it to go a lot further, it makes this really pretty sound. You should try it. That sucks. You're a pro at this. I feel like we could be here for hours doing this. Oh no, my hands are getting freezing. Never in a million years did I ever think that I'd be visiting the location of one of the things that scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. Don't get me wrong, I love horror movies, but there are a few out there that terrified me growing up. And believe it or not, the raft segment from Creepshow, what happened here in this lake, I still think about it every time I go swimming. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's come my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stay? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a coming my way 